guess what? It happened! We're getting a boat. This time, we take a little break from all our boat searching and visit Niagara Falls for the first time. Check out a few cool sites and tourist attractions and just have a good time overall. Looking at sailboats can be a little overwhelming with a lot of things to consider, so we decided to go to Niagara Falls, clear our brains and just enjoy the waterfalls, which were created because of an earthquake apparently, with the escarpment just splitting in two between the United States and Canada. When we first got to Niagara Falls and drove up Clinton Hill, the main street where all the action is, we couldn't help but feel we were sort of in like a mini Las Vegas of Canada. Having been to a rainforest cafe in Orlando while visiting my sisters, I figured we should go check out the one in Niagara Falls. It's such a cool experience to eat and see the whole jungle come alive and the thunderstorms and the animals moving, as well as the really nice aquarium which has tons of different fish, sharks, eels. It's a fun experience. There's lots to look at while you're at the Rainforest Cafe. It's kind of like a show and a meal at the same time. Hey you, what's going on? Hey, we are eating at the Rainforest Cafe. In Niagara Falls, it's pretty awesome here. Thunderstorms every half hour and animals coming alive every 15 minutes. We took a hike to the bottom of the Niagara Falls, down to the whirlpool where the river bends and creates this huge area where there's lots of fishermen and there's a cable car that crosses up overhead. The Niagara waterfalls are shared between the United States and Canada. But I really think that the walkway along the Canadian side offers the better view, so we walked all along it, went to the Horseshoe Waterfall, gazed at the one in the United States, There were two types of boats on either side of the waterfall. One with red ponchos on the Canadian side, and one with blue ponchos on the American side. So we're by Niagara Falls, checking out the awesome sights, epic waterfall, and get to walk around the mini Las Vegas of, uh, of Canada, I guess, if you want to call it that way. So today is a bit of a day away from the sailboat that we've been looking at, just because we've got a do a bit of paperwork, try to figure out that we've got all of the right things, so insurance and all the papers to be able to register the sailboat so that we can eventually sail it out of Canada. So we're enjoying the sun, paperwork and being tourists. Luck tends to be on our side when we travel and we happen to visit Niagara Falls during the blooming time of the Magnolas. There were rows of trees full of white 
pinkish flowers. It was just gorgeous. People drove from far away to come for this two-week extravanza of flowers. It was incredible. and even got to enjoy a rainbow just across from the Rainbow Bridge. While we were exploring around, we visited Niagara-on-the-Lake, a romantic town next to Lake Ontario. At the end of the day, we hiked back down to the Whirlpool, where we set up our tent and enjoy some sausages and a campfire. So, what just happened? Well, I it's actually 7 in the morning and I just got a phone call back from an insurance company, the same one that we have our car with, and we're actually insurable! Yay! <laughs> so, kind of makes it complicated when you're from Newfoundland, resident of Newfoundland anyways, and the sailboat is in um, in Ontario. Everyone's like, oh no, can't do that, can't do that, you gotta get insurance in Ontario. Then you call Ontario, they're like, well, you're not from Ontario, so we're not gonna insure you. So yesterday was a bit of a stressful, <laughs> stressful evenings and um, bit of the day because we we're just calling out of the place trying to find someone who would actually insure us or just at least get back to us <laughs> but we got it yay okay, where are we so right now we're actually sleeping right by Niagara River just a little downstream from Niagara Falls and we set up camp here had an awesome little campfire ate some sausages and I had a pretty good night of sleep in a one-man tent that Brent, the sailboat owner, actually loaned us. Check it out. Look at this cozy little home of ours. And come check our view out. Guess what? It happened! We're getting a boat. I'm so excited. It's really exciting. The guy, we did the inspection today, as we can probably show you some of the shots there right now. But we're getting the boat. Pretty much everything seemed good. There was a few problems that we brought up and we brought the price down a little bit. And we're, we're happy with the price, he's happy with the price. Uh, we got a bit of stuff to repair in the rudder, but we are boat owners almost officially once we signed the documents. So we shook uh, shook hands on our price and the guy is really awesome so we trust him and uh, yeah so we own a boat now congratulations to us yay I'm gonna sell a boat I'm gonna baby so excited sorry I shook the camera should have only shook my head but I'm too excited <laughs> but now we've eaten food so now we're onto the paperwork so I'm making a list of all the different things we've got to do don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you want to follow us along on our adventure. And hit that like button if you liked what you saw.